All right, watching the video here. I'm gonna long it at I'm gonna say 25 here for 100 shares. I mean, 100 shares seems like a lot because the nine's not really that close to it here. I think I'm gonna have to go for 75. Have a stop order in over the top here. Uh, target profit's gonna be high of day. It looks like 75. I could have made this tighter. I think I probably can go with 20. I don't mind if it wants to pull back a little bit farther here because then I do have a, a nicer risk here. Because right now my risk is going to be 35. Sitting at an all-time high. I might be getting in here in a second. trade it's coming right back here Definitely messed up my size. Okay, I'm out. Looks like it's gonna reset here. <coughs> That's fine. I probably should have waited in the first place. We'll see what. Okay, looking at Roku, got another symmetrical triangle coming in. Uh, depending on what it wants to do here, I just saw a big buyer there. I think that might have been at the whole number. Yeah, I guess it is at the whole number. If that guy could hold, I would want to take this long. I don't know, because we got these two wicks up here at 65. That's a double top. I could do half size here and then half again up at... 66. I think that's what I'm going to go for here. Profit target would be the whole number. Uh, it looks like it's going to drop here. Same situation, might just reset. Okay, got another order here to short NVIDIA. If it wants to break underneath these wicks here, going to short it. Alright, I am short. See a bigger move than that. But I mean, we got a bunch of resistance overhead here. So if it wants to retest it, 
might do just that and come right back. Looking at Roku again here, uh, wanting to long it over the 50. I'll be full size if it breaks a new high a day here. Keeps getting bought up. And we're still closing right above the uh, the moving averages, so I mean it's still it's still in effect here. Checking out on the fives here. Got all those wicks. Uh, well, Roku's failing, so I'm not trading. Okay, I'm looking at Disney here. I'm liking liking the trade. I want to take it long over the wick of this candle. That's 82. So that needs to be 83. Save myself a penny. Profit target's going to be the whole number. Might be finally want to move here. Risk could be. Huh. I could do 250. I think I'm going to do 250. Stop loss will be 65. Well, I got the 83, not 84. Need to see some buying coming in here. It was at a pretty significant area. We got this trend line coming up on it, and then we got the five minutes as well. Making a move here. I right, might finally be seeing something.
there's a hidden buyer or something right there and I don't like it because it went down to one and then all of a sudden well now it's gonna break through I don't know I didn't like what I saw so I'm gonna stick with my sixteen dollar trade there and just call it at that okay looking at Nvidia again here trying to short it out of this wedge going on right now looks like it might finally want to make a move here profit targets going to be 216 I'm gonna get 216.15 move definitely need more than that coming in again got taken out that's definitely a good sign I really want to see it roll over The 5 minute 9 EMA is underneath the whole number, so it's not going to be a problem. If I see some resistance at 50, I'm going to have to take some. Alright, looks like buyers are finally leaving the picture. Good sign. Okay, saw a big buyer, took some. Still showing up. Buyers are all over the place in this stock. Can't give up on it yet. I took some 20 cents away, so if it gets to 90, I am totally out. I expect to see it keep moving, though. not gonna go so I don't know I'm sick of these ten dollar winners and having these forty dollar losers I'm not really finding anything good today I might just have to call it here in a minute looking at Disney again I uh, want to take it long over the break of the whole number if we get up there another symmetrical triangle Only risking about 40 bucks on this one. Only trying to get 20 cents, so it's another one to one, really. Obviously, got this to worry about. The uh, 9 EMA is right here at 62, so I mean, it's got plenty of support underneath it. The spy is not helping. The sector is somewhat helping. It's helping more than it's not helping. So now we just wait and see. Definitely don't mind seeing a retest. The tighter it gets, the more I feel like it's going to explode up. Let's 
see the fives. The fives are almost a wedge, but I'm going to say that it's still a symmetrical triangle. If anything, on the fives, it's a ascending triangle. It's coming up. Everything's coming up on it here. Might be a bit. I'll turn it back on whenever I get closer to being there. All right, gonna be done for the day. Um, gonna finish down sixty dollars. Pretty kind of a disappointing day. I mean, the trades that I took really didn't have any follow through. I made a bunch of mistakes. My mind really wasn't right straight from the beginning, from the moment that I woke up, and I guess it really showed today. Uh, the first trade that I took was Nvidia. I tried to take it long on this triangle here from the breakout of this candle I mean the thing just immediately turned right around against me only problem with this one I took way too big a size uh, size was another issue today as well as this week really I know I made one of my goals this week is to use bigger size but the goal that I should have made is to use the correct size not just the bigger size because I had another trade on the video later in the day that really could have been better I guess but I really kind of played it way too short, way too scared. But I mean, this ended up being a $45 loser. I mean, 45 to start the day is obviously never a good thing, but I mean, realistically, it should have been something more like 30, maybe even in the 20s. Uh, the second trade that I took on the video was a short. I ended up shorting it on, off of kind of this triangle here. I mean, it caught up, the 20 caught up and ended up going over the top of it. Had a nice little breakdown here, but uh, no, actually, I shorted it over here. The real move obviously happened there, but I ended up closing out my position at the top of this candle here. It started running against me. I said, okay, well, I guess it doesn't want to break down either here, so I'll just exit the trade early. Obviously, mistake, very next candle, next few seconds. Thing broke down, ended up reaching my profit target. Could have been, you know, probably could have put me a break even on the day. Uh, so the mistake with this one was just... I exited too early, really. I mean, I was down. I entered at 85 and I bought at 20. So, I mean, I was down 45 on the trade. So, yeah, 45 on the trade. And, I mean, my risk was 25 and it never even touched. Never touched 25. Never obviously closed below the 9. I mean, should have been a winner. Just kind of gave it away, really. Uh, then later on in the day, I took NVIDIA short for a trade out of the rising wedge that it was making. I believe it was right here. Yeah, 39.42. Made a decent little wedge. Um, ended up shorting it once it finally looked like it was going to break underneath. I mean, it just kind of came back and consolidated, and it didn't really make another, didn't make another big move, so I just said, forget it, just exit the trade. I ended up being a good idea. I mean, the next few, next few minutes, it just broke up and moved even higher. And then, oh yeah, also on this trade, I used, I used 100 shares, and I was only risking $20 on the trade. I could have doubled my size and probably doubled my profits. And the other mistake that I made on the trade was that I um, cut my loss way too short. I ended up cutting it at 86 when my entry was at 71 after I was already up 1R. So, I mean, I ended up only making $4 on the trade, obviously. Nothing special whatsoever. Then I took Disney for a long right here, making another symmetrical triangle. Took it long. Uh, I was kind of acting a little funny here. It wasn't really moving as much as I would have liked to see it move, and it kind of got stuck at $0.90. Cents. There was what I thought to be a hidden seller there. I mean, there was a decent amount of sellers on the ask, and then they all got taken out. But there was still that 90 cent with uh, one size. So I was like, and I saw some numbers were printing. I was like, okay, it's probably a hidden seller or something. And then it exploded, and then all of a sudden it showed that there was like 100 different, uh, was like 20, 20, 30, something like that. But I mean, I exited the trade, but it, it got up to uh, 106, I guess 105.99. But I was totally out of the trade. I didn't. 
I think I made the right call on that one because just what I was seeing on level two made me made me say, okay, well, it's probably not gonna do anything else. So, I mean, yeah, I would have got an extra ten cents, but could have been an extra twenty five dollars, I guess. But uh, I don't know. I don't think that was a it would it would not have been a good idea to hold through that. It probably could have turned right around against me. I don't know. Pretty bad day. Not great. Finishing the week. Um, probably with commission, I'm probably down more than a hundred on this week. But I think just trade wise, I'm down like thirty bucks or something like that. So with commissions, it's definitely bad. But as for the trades, it's not terrible. Basically, a break even week. I'm definitely gonna go do a big re review session. Probably. Probably have to get to it tomorrow again. I don't think I'll be able to do it today, but I don't know. Much to learn, much to go, much to review for this week. Um, plenty of new goals, plenty of new things to work on. You know, go over the mistakes and whatnot. Do some more spreadsheet work. So I'll be back again tomorrow.